Hello there, fellow promoters. Grant Pachoco here, and welcome to another episode of the Promoter Toolbox. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a really, really easy ranking spreadsheet for your federation. You know, I, I think that uh, Champions of the Galaxy and Legends of Wrestling, they're just super fun games. They're super easy to just pull out some cards, uh, make a couple matches, and roll out some matches. But I think the real fun, where the, where the game just comes alive, is when you start tracking your history. Where you really start just um, writing down who won, who lost, who's the champ, all that kind of stuff. And the easiest way to do that is with a rankings spreadsheet. And I'm going to show you a really simple way to do it. Um, this is sort of how I do it. You can see on the screen, these are my current uh, 2136 rankings. And um, this is the little spreadsheet I use. Now you can see I have other uh, sheets down here and we'll talk about those all at later time. But we're just talking about rankings and how do we set up rankings. And um, there's many ways you can do this. I use a spreadsheet um, and uh, I use Excel, but there's Excel, there's numbers. I'm sure there's a million other apps that are spreadsheet apps. Um, but the coolest and I think easiest is to use because it is free is Google Docs. That's right. You can set up your own Google Docs spreadsheet and uh, you can keep track of your rankings here. Um, so uh, I'm going to be using this now. Uh, you can go to docs.google.com or if you want to go directly to the spreadsheets, you can go to sheets.google.com. Com. You need to have a Google account, but what's cool about these spreadsheets, um, doing them through Google Docs, is then they're accessible anywhere. If you're on the road, if you're uh, traveling and you're playing your game, you can update your rankings through the uh, Google Sheets. So it's really, really awesome. All right, for this example, I'm going to be using Google uh, Docs. We're going to open up a blank spreadsheet. Now, this top row right here is going to be your header row. So uh, I'm going to fill it in with a few things. Now, this uh, this first thing I'm going to put NO, which uh, just means for number. Then I'm going to put wrestler. And then uh, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put a champion. So we'll put our Galaxian champion, which is just GC for short. And then I'm just going to fill this, populate this with numbers. All right, so we have this populated uh, here. We've got our, our numbers. We've got a, a spot for our Galaxian champion. And then we've got one through 24. Of course, these numbers will vary with how many uh, wrestlers you have in your fed. But we're going to start with the original set and we're going to lay this out. All right, I've got the names of my wrestlers in there. You can see it's the classic original edition of the game. Um, so there you go. That's uh, You start off with the row of numbers. You start off with the list of wrestlers. Now we get to the part where it's going to vary for you. Where You need to think about what are you going to track in this spreadsheet. Um, wins, losses, of course. Uh, but you can break it down either fur even further. And this is what I do. All right, so I have my headings in here now, and these are the things that I track. I track if they if the wrestler won by pin, if they won by submission, if they won by count out, if they won by disqualification, and if uh, I track, of course, their losses. So uh, one thing you can do to make this sort of uh, stand out better is you can bold this uh, top row so you know that it's a heading row, and you can also bold the number row so that you know that, uh, so that, you know, it's easier to see here. So uh, these are what I'm going to track by. I'm going to track by win by pin, win by submission, win by count out, win by DQ and losses. Now you can track lots of other things. Uh, you, you could also just track win loss. That's it. Um, but uh, this is the way I do it. And the reason I track both win by pin and win by submission is just so I can see how many times is a wrestler won by submission? How many times have they run by pin? Are they a submission wrestler? Are they, uh, you know, a non submission wrestler, whatever it is. So, um, the next column, the next uh, thing I'm going to add in my column is a total column. And, uh, this total column is going to total up all these things and give us a total. And it's that total number that will allow us to rank all these wrestlers. But in order to figure out what the total is, we have to figure out how much each of these things is worth. And it is up to you. You can decide how much a pin is worth, how much is a submission worth, how much is a count out win worth. You know, you can, you can decide all that. Um, here's the way I do it. Win by pin is two points. 
Win by submission is also two points. Win by countout is one point. Win by DQ is also one point. And a loss is negative one points. So uh, that's the way I track it out. So now what we have to do, and this right now that I'm gonna show you is sort of like the trickiest part of setting this up, but as you're going to see, it's not that difficult to do. Okay, so we're gonna to have to come up with a little formula uh, to put in this cell right here. And in order to do that formula, you know what, I'm gonna zoom in on this so uh, we'll be able to see it a little better. We don't need to see the whole thing here. All right, so uh, you start with an equal sign. That means a formula is coming. Then you could just click on the square that you want to add to the formula. So I'm gonna click the win by pin square and you can see that it adds C3, that's that square right there into the thing. Now we want win by pin to be equal to two points. If they get one win by pin, that's two points. So we have to continue the formula and do times, which is the asterisk, two, and then we put a plus sign because uh, C3 times two, that's part of the total. Okay, now we go, we do the plus sign so that we can click the next square. There you go, D3. This is also times two. We put the plus sign again. Win by count out is just one point. So we don't have to do the times two thing. We don't even have to do times one. Just whatever, like if I put one in win by count out, that's just gonna give one point over here. We add the plus sign again. We click here. Same thing with win by DQ. We don't have to put, um, we don't have to put times anything because that's just going to be one point. And then we want to subtract what is in the loss column, right? Because if they lose, they lose one point. So I'm going to put minus and then click there. And that is our formula. Now you can see it says zero because right now there's no information in here. But if we say uh, Omega had five wins by pin, one win by submission, one count out and two win by DQs, and he lost three times, that gives us our total of 12 right there. Now, you can add in many other things in here. You can uh, add in winning percentages. You can add in total number of wins. Uh, I can put a column in here that's total number of wins. Um, let's take a look over at my spreadsheet just for a second so we can check out all the different uh, the different category things I have in here. I have uh, wrestlers. I have a little notes column uh, that I put in. Now the notes does not fig figure into the total whatsoever, but what I can do is I can put injury uh, injuries in there so I can keep track of injuries. So uh, Endgame is injured for six cards. I can put that in there so I can keep track of it. I got win by pin, win by submission, win by count out, win by DQ. I got the loss column. I have the total wins. In order to do this, you just start another formula where you just do uh, this column plus this column plus this column plus this column and that gives you your total wins. Uh, I'm going to tell you about the champ column here in one second and uh, then we've got the total here uh, but I also have a winning percentage column where I figure out uh, how many matches have they won out of all of their total matches. Um, so I think that's a, just a fun thing to track to see uh, who some of the best wrestlers in your uh, federation are. You know who's batting, uh, <laughs> batting 50% who's uh, I'm mixing metaphors here, but you got it. You understand. So we're going to come back over to our spreadsheet. I've deleted the stats out of here because what I want to do, the next thing I want to do is I want to add in a championship column. So I'm going to insert one column here. Now this doesn't change your formula over here. Um, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't really do anything. And these spreadsheets are pretty good about if you inserted a column here, it would know to, to change this because it, it's just tracking this one square here. I am going to put this column is going to be champ. Is this person a champ? All right. Now when we put the championship column in here. We want to give the champ a little bit of a bonus. We want the champ to have a little bit of a bonus so that when we sort these rankings, the champion will always be at the top and it will fill in this uh, Galaxian champion row right here. So we'll have to modify our uh, little formula here. We're going to add a plus sign because we're going to add one more column into the mix. Uh, and that is this column here, the championship column. And then we're going to do times 
100. Because uh, whoever is the champion here, uh, they will get a 100-point bonus. So if, we, if Omega's the champion and we just put a 1 here, you can see it adds it automatically adds 100 to the... Uh, uh, to the to the field to the total right there so we've got our formula our formula is ready to go now we need to put our formula in to for all these other wrestlers and the easy easy way to do that is to just copy and paste so i copied this i'm going to paste it right there as you can see it's the same formula but it has shifted down one it's now uh whereas this one is c3 d3 e3 this one is C4, D4, E4, and etc. So even if I come way down here to Lord Nexus, uh, I put the um, formula in there, you're going to see that it's just going to tally those squares, uh, those cells where Lord Nexus is. So uh, I'm going to fill the rest of the, I'm just going to copy and paste uh, the rest of the formula here so we'll be good to go. All right, I've copied and pasted the formula in each one of these cells. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to throw in some random uh, statistics in here so we can show you how the whole sorting uh, sorting thing works. Now I have just populated this with some random stats. These are totally random stats. They don't mean anything. Uh, this is not my actual Fed. But I just wanted to show you that look now here, all these uh, formulas are working for us and they're all ranking... Um, uh, uh, each of the things depending on how many wins, how many subs, how many losses, all that kind of stuff. Now, we want to, to show you the power of sorting this so we can get our rankings, uh, we're going to pick a champion. And we're going to, I don't want to pick a champion that is ranked up here at the top um, because I want you to really see how this works. So we will say that, let's just say that Massive is our champion. So we're going to put a one here. And you can see that added 100 to his thing. All right, so we've populated some stats. We've got our champ. Now we want to see our rankings. And the way you do that is you select everything. You select everything. Um, you got. It's very important that you select everything. If you do this next step without selecting everything, your data could get all mixed up. Um, so we select everything, all of the names, all the columns. We leave our column headers out. We don't do anything with those. Then we go over here to data and we go to sort range. So this is going to sort everything. What are we sorting by? We are sorting by the total. And we want the highest number on the top. So uh, our our total column is column I, and we're going to do Z to A because we want to go from the biggest number to the smallest number. We click sort, and there you go. It has ranked our wrestlers. Massive is number one because he's the champion, so he pops right into the champion spot here. Um, you've got everybody else ranked according to their total. Poor Mutant down here with a negative 20. Pulsar also not very, very well with a negative 6. Um, and this is what this is basically how you do it. Now you can add in other little columns here. Like one thing I was thinking of is I could add a column in here, uh, and this is not going to mess up your. Um, it's not going to mess up your your formula or anything like that. And I'm going to put. Um, streak like that's going to be a bonus here so it's like how many matches in a row have these wrestlers won because if they have some wrestler some matches in a row where they've won they should go up the rankings a little bit faster so uh you know uh, that is another thing i could do i could say P pit viper has won five matches in a row now i will have to go in and modify this so that uh we we say oh this whatever number is in here is going to get a times i don't know five bonus so you can see that pit viper, pit viper now has a little bit more of a bonus and he would rank up near the top but if i take this away he just drops back to his regular thing and now of course i would it's very important i would have to go and modify this so that each of these formulas here had this streak bonus uh, but it doesn't take a ton of time to do and um i'm not 100 percent sure that i'm doing that right now so i'm gonna i'm gonna delete it there uh and if if something like that happens where you get an error you just copy 
and paste. And there you go. It has worked. So that is how you set up a very bare bones uh, ranking sheet. Now I could add another column here along the top and put the interplanetary title in here, which I, that's, I do have that in my, um, my main Excel spreadsheet. Um, and then I would just give that a lower champ total. So, uh, you know, if the Galaxian champion gets a five bonus in there, then the interplanetary champion would get a four bonus, um, so that it ranks them. It puts them up towards the top, but not at the same level. Another thing I do is when a new year starts, I add the new wrestlers uh, to the bottom and I, I take out the ones. I move the ones uh, that have, have left the Fed or have gone somewhere else. I move those lower down on the spreadsheet. So I always just have um, the, the really focused version of the current year. Um, but new wrestlers will start with zero wins, zero pins, zero count out wins, all that stuff. They'll start with zero. So they will be ranked towards the middle of this. And that's where something like the streak bonus or the push bonus um, would be good if you wanted to bump them up towards the top if they come in and they make a really big impact. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will try to get to them. Also in the description, I have a link to a blank Google spreadsheet that's all set up with the headings and the columns and the formulas and it's all ready for you to play around with and see if you like this or see if you want to find something else. Um, the link to that is in the description for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will talk to you next time right here on Promoter Toolbox.